Hello, we're back. It is, what's the date actually? The 13th, 13th of November. And we're just about seven weeks. Honestly, it could be today, I'm not even sure, but I'm tracking it from Tuesday, it being like the week. So tomorrow should be seven weeks. And we're off to our second doctor's appointment. Uh, I'm really nervous this time because I think I mentioned before I was having a little bit of nausea mostly last week for like two or three days I had nausea one day was actually pretty bad and then it kind of went away and I haven't really felt nauseous at all the past like five days and I'm sure that's like good like I'm not feeling sick but I'm just praying that doesn't mean something scary so I'm a little bit worried going into this appointment I feel like I'm very nervous about this whole thing in general uh, at least until after the first trimester but for now a little bit nerved hopefully everything's good and maybe I'm just one of the lucky ones that don't get very sick and if that's the case amazing I will be so happy but until I find out everything is good and healthy and looking the way it should be I'm gonna be nervous so we just left our appointment starts in 30 minutes so we'll be there right in the nick of time I think it'll take us like 20 minutes to get there and then Matt has to get back because he's like on a work call kind of right now too. So um, he's coming with me. Okay, just arrived 15 minutes early. So it actually didn't take nearly as much time as I thought it was going to. We're here. Gonna see what the doctor says. Hopefully everything's good. So pray for us. We are back home now. Everything went really well at the doctor's. We had our ultrasound, and here is the baby. I'll show you the baby. And here is baby. So tiny right now. I am just about seven weeks. So six weeks, five days is what they're saying, uh, which makes my due date July 3rd. So we're gonna have like a 4th of July baby. But everything seems really good so far, and I just feel a lot calmer now knowing everything is good and the baby's still there and heartbeats and all that stuff because I was getting really nervous before just because I wasn't feeling nauseous anymore. So I'm like wondering maybe I'm gonna be one of the lucky ones that just don't get all that sick, um, which would be great. But that's that. I am gonna jump back into work now because it is work day. I had to take off a little bit to Go to the appointment but now back home so gonna jump back into work and i'll catch up with you guys on seven weeks which is gonna be wednesday now so i changed my counting i was one day off so i was very close to what like they're saying <coughs> hello vlog it's been a long time since i've caught up with you guys we are nine weeks today baby is the size of an olive and we have been like i have definitely been feeling a little bit of nausea in the morning and honestly just like this sensation to not <laughs> do anything with my day like I'm lazier I feel like and um, never want to like dress up or look cute or put makeup on really but we are headed to our doctor's appointment today and it's like the intake appointment so it's like blood work uh, they do a pap smear they do like everything uh, so it's supposed to be a really long appointment they've like told us it'll be probably like two to three hours and we are heading to that Matt is coming with me and then we're gonna grab dinner after so we're gonna have a little doctor's appointment and then date night it's already 2 30 so cutting out of work a little early worked a lot, little bit extra at the beginning of the week to get to this appointment so gotta bring my paperwork i had to fill out a ton of forms yesterday do i look crazy a ton of forms um how to watch a video about like a bunch of different testing options they have and all this stuff so i think we're prepared as we're gonna get <laughs> and we're about to head out for our appointment i'm excited hopefully we get to see baby again i'm not sure if this is an ultrasound appointment i kind of would assume but i don't want to assume that either so we're heading out okay well we're on our way to the doctor we pretty much live down the street from the doctor which is really nice it takes us like mm, 10 minutes maybe to get there but since i have not been updating you in a while i think it was like seven weeks the last time i picked up this video uh i feel like a lot has changed there's been days where i have not felt anything and i like start to panic and freak out that there's not a baby in there anymore which i almost feel like it's normal like 
I feel like a lot of people feel like that and it's just really scary. So I, I'm like happy the days that I honestly feel like a little bit of nausea because it gives me some reassurance. But I'm excited to go to the doctor today to um, figure out, see if everything's good so far. Uh, I get my blood work done today. And um, I think there's just a lot going on today. I know there's like three separate appointments back to back for like different things. So I don't recall exactly what they're all for, but um, I know <laughs> this is like a big appointment. So I'm excited to get this one over with and have some peace of mind, know that the baby's okay, and I'll feel a little bit better after the appointment. I feel like in the first trimester, you're just waiting until you have your next appointment to confirm everything's good because you don't like feel kicks or anything, obviously. Uh, once I feel like I could feel like the kicks and movement, I would feel a lot safer and like more assured, but until then, it's just a little scary. So moving on, I've been addicted to milkshakes, ices, and ice pops. I feel like that's really all I've been eating. Um, my diet is trash. Also been eating McChickens and raviolis and um, pretty much like anything that I don't know. The McChicken thing's weird. I'm not eating much protein, like no actual grilled chicken or like meats of any sort. So that I definitely need to step up with um, second trimester, but right now it's just like, I can't smell it. I don't like it. Thank God Thanksgiving, I was good. I, don't, I was like so good that day. I was able to eat turkey and like the whole thing. Didn't feel at all while we were cooking it. Um, so it was really good, but that's it for my little update. And I'll see you guys at my appointment. Is it just moved? Little hand. Just finished up our appointment. Baby's still in there. My mom, we saw the heartbeat again. It actually looks like a baby it now. It looked like a baby. It had little limbs and it, it looked nice like it was like beer gut. Yeah, it had a little gut. It was so cute. Um but uh I had to schedule an appointment for four weeks out, so the 28th of December is the next appointment. And then I have blood work for genetic screenings that will be mid-December. The focus is so bad in the dark. Um, mid-December, and that's gonna find out the gender too. So that's coming up. We're gonna know the gender really soon. And then, um, I'm freezing right now. Do you know that? Do you have ibuprofen? No, I don't, I don't think. Um, but yeah, so oh, everything looked good. It was a long appointment, it's five o'clock. We got here at 2.45. So it's been a day. So I'm gonna go get dinner at La Scala's. And we better get there. Yeah, let's go. Surgeon General or whatever. Just got to La Scala's fire. It's all like decorated and festive. It looks so pretty. Got our ricotta board. Delish. Absolutely delicious. And the Alicia Sunday dinner, meatballs and rigatoni with like ricotta. So yummy. Hello, baby vlog. We are 10 weeks as of yesterday. I'm gonna put a little light on because it's dark. 10 weeks as of yesterday. And we just filmed our gender, gender reveal. We just filmed the baby reveal for Instagram, for everything. We're gonna put it up to announce that we're pregnant. So, um, stand right up here. I cannot believe it. I am so excited that we just did that. I hope it's good. Uh, we just put an ornament on the tree and then took some pictures and cute things. So I don't know if, hopefully we'll end up using the video. If not, um, we took pictures, so that's gonna go up, I think, in a week, so I'll be 11 weeks when we post it, just because I want it up for the holidays. I feel like that'll be a lot more special to have that up uh, for the holidays, and honestly, if something happened, I feel like the only reason people don't tell until, like, the second trimester is if something happened, they, like, wouldn't want to tell people, but I would still tell everyone. All my family and friends already know, and... It would be a part of my life so like i wouldn't hide it just because something bad happened it would still be something i shared with everybody and um, so it doesn't really bother me if i if i share our pregnancy a little bit earlier than some people do uh, i'm still 11 weeks so i don't think it's anything too crazy most people would tell people like second trimester which is starting at 13 weeks so i'm officially a quarter of the way through the pregnancy Constantly out of breath, um, but I'm feeling really good, and I think 
I am almost like out of the woods with all like the bad symptoms hopefully like the nausea I haven't had that much nausea but hopefully it'll be completely going away at least mostly soon but um yeah everything's been really good so far and we're super <coughs> excited so just filmed our reveal gonna get that together and post that next week and it's just super exciting over here so I'm gonna show you a little bump date because my bump it's probably like blue and honestly I was able to push my stomach out a lot before even I got pregnant but now it's like I if I push my belly out I can like push my belly out but here is the bump it's honestly probably mostly blue which is fine but I love these dresses to see like the bump because normally like with pants you wouldn't really see and I feel like we're starting to have a bump here so it is super exciting I really want to bring you guys along more in the second trimester I feel like I've been doing a lot of updates but I want to like vlog I want to show you what I'm eating I'm eating like crap because I really just don't have the desire to eat anything healthy um, but yeah so I can't believe we just filmed that hopefully we got some good takes and now we can finally decorate the Christmas tree. We've been waiting to decorate the Christmas tree for so long uh, because we wanted to film this video and there's just a lot of things coming up. Matt was sick, things were happening. So we didn't film it and now I think it's filmed. So I'm excited. We're gonna decorate the tree now. Gotta finish up a few things. But yeah, we're getting there. Actually a few more things that I want to mention. Like I said, I'm 10 weeks as of yesterday. Um, the two more symptoms that I feel like I haven't touched on but have been really bad actually three symptoms I've gotten a bit of cramping um it was actually worse in the beginning but yesterday I had some really bad cramps so I feel like that's mostly normal but there still has been cramping um second my boobs are so sore all the time so painful and then third thing is my body is breaking out like nobody's business my face is not so i'm very grateful like the face is still fine but my chest my back my belly even breaking out and honestly i have started using so many oils and lotions and all these things pretty much all over my body especially my belly so i can assume or like maybe that's a reason or a big thing in it that um is causing me to break out is the lotions and oils but also like my hormones are obviously just crazy right now so could be that it could just be lotions and stuff i'm putting on my body um but i did start like buying a bunch of different oils lotions i heard almond oil is a really good one for the belly so i bought that on amazon i have like body butters and belly butters and all the things that i've been using every night after i shower i'm gonna start doing it um twice a week i mean tw twice a day because I do it only once a day right now, and I think that's fine in the beginning, but I'm going to definitely up that to twice a day. Probably this week. So, that's that. We got our Christmas cards done today. We shot these the day we, like, shot the reveal stuff. So, these are super cute. This is going to be the one, like, I got two different ones. These are going to be for, like, my family. And these ones are going to be for everyone else. If you guys wanted a Christmas card, you guys will get this. And I'll write a little message on the back for you guys. Um, but obviously that would, have been, that would have been already done because you guys are seeing this probably sometime early January. But super cute. I love the picture. This one's a little, a little bit dark. But then I also just printed out this photo for our grandparents. So that's that. We also had a friend... Um, our friend's mom brought this over for us for a little present. I thought this was so cute. This is exactly what I got my mom and my grandparents. So as soon as we get a better um, ultrasound picture, we're going to put that in there. And my other friend actually got me a little countdown calendar too. So we need another photo for this. But this is super cute. I think I'm actually 29 weeks away as of today. So I'll have to change that. Today is 12 weeks, I mean 11 weeks, Frank. We're 11 weeks, you can have a baby so many, so soon, so soon. But I don't know if you guys saw the gender reveal, I'm sure you did, Um, not the, the baby reveal on the reel that we made. This is a little ornament that I made for it. 
it's really cute and I just kind of like wrote with a pen a paint pen on a little matte ornament and made it myself I could have gone and got it done which I honestly probably should have done but this is fun and special and I made it so really cute my flank my flank but like I said today is 11 weeks so we're get, we were originally going to announce today uh so today's 11 weeks we were originally going to announce today and i think we're going to wait one more week and announce next wednesday but today's 11 weeks and here not much happening yet but tiny little bulge mostly bloating to be honest but got a little something going on and i'm just super excited we also this is a present i picked up for matt's parents for christmas they use these types of things all the time so I thought this would be cute okay here we go I thought this would be cute for them crank it down they're just these little tumblers I swear they always have one of these in their hands so this one says grandpa established 2024 20, and grandma established 2024 and I think this is actually what they want to go by grandma and grandpa from what I remember so I think this will be really cute. My grandparents are gonna go by, or my parents are gonna go by different grandparent names. I think they wanna be like Poppy and Mimi or Poppy and Gigi, something different. So I got this for them for Christmas. I'm gonna wrap this up today. Do you know Mimi or I don't know. I feel like my mom goes back and forth between Mimi and Gigi, so I'll have to confirm with her and see what she wants for sure. But that has been everything my sciatic pain has been so painful lately it's like my right butt cheek i guess it's stemming from my lower back but i get like this shooting pain in my right butt cheek all the time especially when i'm like walking i feel like when we walk frank a lot it's so bad that's probably gonna go it is probably worse. gonna get worse as i get bigger so i'm like nervous about it and Besides that, I'm feeling really good. No nausea, craving guacamole, I feel like all the time. Um, but my food aversions are mostly gone. Are you at the time where you have real cravings yet? I think you can have cravings. I'm almost out of my first trimester. It's so crazy that there's a baby in here. I could stick my, my belly out and like look real pregnant. But um, I think it's just kind of crazy that there's things going on. My body is changing. And it's kind of scary because, like, at this point, my symptoms are kind of gone for the most part. I'm not feeling nausea. I'm not feeling anything. So I'm, like, scared not knowing. Like, it's like, we're here. <laughs> like that TikTok you can see um, after your symptoms go away in your first trimester. But I have a doctor's appointment next Wednesday. And that's the day we're going to announce after we get confirmation that everything's good and baby is healthy and everything's good so next wednesday is going to be the day we announce it i can't wait to tell everyone because it's been like so hard i feel like keeping the secret i feel like i have dropped a few little easter eggs but um don't want to give anything away like too seriously like i want to kind of have a secret still but um uh, i'm really excited to get out of the first trimester i think i'll feel a lot more secure so have our doctor's appointment next Wednesday, and that is our blood work appointment too, where, where we're gonna find the gender out. So we're gonna find the gender out so soon. I think we're planning our gender reveal for January 6th. So, so it's gonna be here before we know it. Just gonna have like family and friends, nothing too big. It's just gonna be like a little fun get together with everybody. Um, For the first baby, I feel like it'll be fun to do something like that. And then after that, we're not gonna do like big gender reveals anymore, but I think it'll be fun to get everyone together and just kind of like celebrate and all that stuff. So that's going to be so soon. I am literally going to try to take a dog toy and roll my butt out because it hurts so bad. I've never... Frank, I'm using your toy. I don't know if this is normal, but I feel like it came on so early. Like this has started weeks ago. I was probably only like five weeks when I started feeling this, so I'm not sure if it's even related. I heard 
sciatica, like sciatic pain is, could be related to pregnancy. Matt's mom said he got it pretty bad with her first kid. But holy moly, it's really just taken me out. I feel like there's like points on our walk where I just have to like completely stop walking because it hurts so bad. I think I'm going to get a massage soon. Talk to my doctor. Everything is a-okay with the massage. Um, but uh, we're going on a ski trip in the beginning of July, in the beginning of January. And they're going skiing and tubing. And I'm not going to be able to do either activity, which just kind of sucks. But it is what it is. I'm going to have to chill. Their, um, Matt's other siblings, we're going with Matt's side of the family. So his siblings, three of them play D1 sports right now. Or at like college level sports. And they're not going to be able to participate either. So I'll have a few people to hang out with during the day. But I'm treating myself to a massage during their like eight hour ski day because I deserve it. I like so badly need it. And also my body, I would love to get like a facial or something because my body is breaking out like nobody's business. I don't even know if I can, let me see if I can show you guys, but like my chest, I've never experienced such a thing my whole life. My stomach is breaking out. Um, Obviously, my back, it's been actually pretty bad, but at least it's not my face, which is honestly all I really care about because the face is still acting okay. I mean, I definitely have more um, texture that I can work around. Like, I'm not too upset by that. Today is... 12 weeks the baby is the size of a lime and I can't believe it uh, the nails are growing there's so many things that are happening this week so exciting but we are off to our next appointment so I think we do an ultrasound today and we do our blood work which determines the gender and that's also for like genetic screenings um, that like non-invasive just blood work form of genetic screening so that we'll all be back to us hopefully soon and we're gonna do a little gender reveal but I don't think it's at our normal like doctor's office I think it's like right next door at a I don't know so I'm a little bit confused of where like we go in first or what place is first or what so I guess I'll keep you updated but I had to uh, drink water this morning and I threw up this was the first day first time I've thrown up from pregnancy and I think it was because I drank too much water too fast and it like didn't sit right. But that was not a good, <laughs> not a good milestone or thing that I want to continue. But usually like this is the time you're out of that phase and I haven't felt sick at all. And today of course is the day You've I throw up. You've been nauseous though. I've been nauseous but not anywhere close to throwing up. Besides like one other oh time God. I like spit up. Like brushing my teeth and I was like ugh. And, but it wasn't like throw up. Like this is <laughs> like, bless you babe. Again. This was like full on like projectile throw up. <laughs> Bless you. Um, so that was not fun and I really hope that Cut doesn't continue. Uh, and if it does, I'm going to be really sad because I just and don't like that at all. And I still don't feel good. Like I never got back to feeling like better after this morning when I threw up. So I'm just praying it doesn't continue further into the pregnancy like I don't know maybe I'm just late and I will throw up later who the hell knows but just praying that's not the case for me and um but I was saying because I had to drink a lot of water they told me to have a full bladder when I went for my appointment so I've been trying to drink water and that also means I haven't been able to pee for the past hour and a half and that's like killing me I have to pee so badly so I'm like cannot wait until the second they tell me I'm allowed to pee again but uh, I'm excited to see the baby. I think 12 weeks we'll be able to see a lot more than we saw last time. 45. And um, we're just excited. So that's the plan for today to another doctor's appointment. I'll give you a little bump date tonight maybe. Uh, the bump is definitely more prominent at nighttime. So I think 
it's better to like do the bump dates at night because the morning is just like my normal stomach honestly because the bump right now is bloating for the most part um this the baby's literally the size of a lime so we don't have much baby in there yet but i definitely get a little bit of a belly at night just because there's like a lot of bloating and everything going on but cravings wise i've had a, like a lot of chips and guac cravings i think we're gonna do chipotle tonight and i'm just gonna get a bowl so we'll see how that goes over but i have so many avocados at home and guacamole at home like i have to eat that stuff too so um that and that's about it so we're off to the doctor i'm so excited to announce the video i'm just oh my gosh i'm so excited so i have to find good music for that still hopefully I mean, I might just have to pick one at some point because I'm gonna be posting soon, so. Got to see the baby and it looks like a baby, it's so cute. I wish I was able to film in there, but they obviously don't let you film in those rooms. Some rooms they do and some they don't, but here's our little baby and now we're going for blood work. So when you get back there, you are out. What do you think, Matt? It was cool. It was good. I'm glad that it went well. Yeah, it makes me feel a lot better. We're now past the 12 week mark and your risk for anything happening decreases a lot. Not saying it's How not do you possible. Know that? you just that's just that? that's just like the statistics. 12 weeks is usually like the the mark where your risk of things really goes down a lot. So, I'm happy about that. Here's the little baby. I feel like they have so many better like shots during the ultrasound and there's so many cool things like their arms and the legs and all the things arms and legs, they didn't print anything i want like a big print yeah they like measured the neck for something but i want like a big print of or like a bunch of little prints of all the things of the baby and i guess that will be like the 20 week ultrasound they go more into depth and hopefully they'll print off more for us but they only printed off two photos again so it is what it is but the important thing is that baby's healthy Heartbeat was good. Everything was like measuring correctly, exactly measuring at 12 weeks. So due date still seems to be July 3rd. And Probably won't change yeah. the due date until a lot longer. Yeah, later. But um, it's exciting. It I looks feel so much better. It already looks like a full baby. Like it I seems know. like it shouldn't be another six or seven months. But it's so it tiny. Like it should be. Uh, it just has to grow big now. But it's like doubled in size in like so two cute. weeks or something. It's so, so cute. So it does that baby. every two weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's really, really exciting. Now I need to eat. I think I am hungry now. I know you're not too hungry, but I'm kind of hungry. Oh, go Chipotle. Yeah, we're gonna go grab food. Um, especially because I didn't eat this morning. Well, I did eat and then I threw it up. And yeah, so I just need to get something in my body especially after the blood work I got the blood work done and I hate getting blood work done it's like the worst thing in the world my arm hurts I get queasy I just don't like it at all uh, she took like three vials of blood and hopefully they don't have to redo it but she was while she was doing it she was like it may come back where you have to redo the blood work I'm like great um, but hopefully that's not the case and she said seven to ten business days to find out the gender and if we wanted it to be put in an envelope for us we could do that or have someone log into the portal so we could do either or i'll probably put just have into an envelope and then we'd have to go pick it up yeah that's that'd probably be easier but then like how would i get to abby close your eyes snapchat <laughs> yeah no <laughs> um so yeah, hopefully seven to 10 business days puts us like pretty much when we were planning to do the gender reveal. So hopefully we have it and um, it comes back in time because who knows? I mean, I bet it's, it's really like close. Last time. I don't know. It's yeah. different blood work though. Yeah, but still. Different time. Hold on. We're home from our appointment. It's much later. We stopped over at my Mimi's and spent time with her. I haven't talked about it here on YouTube yet, but Pop Pop passed away over the weekend and saying it out loud is actually a lot harder than I was expecting but um so we had to step over and see her and um it's just hard knowing that he's not gonna be here to see the baby and it's been like really weighing on me but I'm trying to be strong so 
I actually just shared the video of me telling him over on Instagram. And that's gonna be in a YouTube video too, but. It's very sad, but he was suffering. And I know he is now watching over my baby. And I just have to think that like he is, he has met my baby and um, it's just gonna be hard to like accept and yeah, so that's where we went after. Besides all the emotional stuff, I'm trying to pull myself together. I haven't like vlogged anything else besides this baby vlog in the past few days. So I'm going to have to, you guys will find out that uh, about Papa before this video comes out at some point. I'm just like not ready to vlog. Doesn't really feel right. So I probably will vlog like Christmas because, um, yeah, I probably will still vlog Christmas and that'd be like the first vlog back type of thing. But I just need a little break and I have a lot on my plate. I'm going to make a, a video for Pop Pop's funeral and um, writing the eulogy, like I said. So I have to get started with that. I have like one day left. And I have to, I don't know, there's just a ton going on. So that is um, just a lot going on. Here is what baby's looking like. Honestly, I am pretty flat. Especially today, I feel like there's been days where I've felt bigger, um, but I'm not like really that bloated today and I'm actually weighing less than I did like pre-pregnancy. I mean about the same, maybe a pound or two less, but I'm definitely not gaining weight yet. So I'm just about in the second trimester and I've not gained weight, which I'm happy about because I would like to hold off as long as possible before I start gaining weight. It's only six o'clock, it's actually pretty early, but I'm so tired. <laughs> Some of you guys have been commenting that um, I've been out of breath in my videos and that's what kind of gave it away, which is so funny because I feel like I've been so out of breath lately. Like the flight of stairs just do does me in. Like I'm, I'm done after a flight of stairs. So um, uh, one more thing I wanna show you guys. Oh, I can't bend over. The sciatic pain in my butt has been really bad. Alexa, turn the light on. Okay, bedroom's a disaster, but let's see. Never really vlogged this way. That's a little weird. Um, look at Frank. Our bed is not made because I'm a lazy piece of crap. Okay, the house is so dark. It's nearly insane. But yeah, haven't made the bed lately. Got the blood work done. I'm gonna take this off. I hate pulling these things off because I have like baby hairs everywhere. But I need to try this dress on, so might as well do it now um, before I shower. But I picked up a dress for a possible gender reveal dress. I really apologize. My house is a disaster. Come on, Frank, get out of there! Such a messy house, it's insane. But I thought this sweater dress could be really cute for the gender reveal. So I'm gonna try it on and we will see. The only thing is it goes really low cut. And like I mentioned recently, my my body has been breaking out like nobody's business. Um, I guess pregnancy does that to you, I don't know. My face has been fine for the most part. My body, not good. So I'm gonna try this on. I think I'm also gonna place an order on Shein for like those bodycon dresses that I wear, maybe in like a pink color. Cause that like covers the chest long sleeves because it's going to be January and maybe I can get hot pink because Matt might want to wear blue and then we're both wearing different colors even though I do think it's a boy I really 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 do um I might want to get pink so let me try this on and I'll show you in a second okay I turned the overhead light on which I'm so not an overhead light person the camera is so yellow this house is so yellow lighting it drives me nuts but here's the dress it's a little bit more like matronly um, than I was hoping, but it is cute actually. So I might keep it as an option. You definitely can see the bump. I do think this is cute. And I, if I want to cover my chest more, I definitely can pull this up and cover my chest. But um, I feel like that might look a little bit weird. So um, I think this is cute. Like I'm definitely bumping <laughs> in this outfit because like it's so tight. And even if I wasn't pregnant, I would 
be showing a bump in this dress to be honest because I'm not like a tiny little flat skinny little tiny girl I've always been a little bit bigger of a girl so that is the dress that I might wear for the gender reveal I'll definitely keep it until the reveal time comes just in case I need to wear it but maybe I'll also place an order on Shein and see what I think so I think it's cute and I I really think it's boys so 